Um, we wrote team back in, oh my God, July, I want to say. Half a year ago. Yeah, now. it's wow. been a long time now, but I think we went into that trying to write in a very liberated mindset, not caring about what anyone's going to think about it, really um, just enjoying every moment, focusing on every lyric and not want worrying about what anyone was going to think about it. We we just tried to capture that feeling of n actually not giving a f not just saying you don't give a f but like actually purely not giving a f and having no inhibitions about who you are and being proud of who you are. That was one of those breakthrough moments for us also in the studio because I think before that we were just evolving and a lot of time thinking about what success means and how to how to feel um, self-worth and a lot of the time as artists and just as a human being that comes from what other people say about you and like whether it's like charts or numbers or how well your songs are doing or how well your tour is doing or what people say about you you sometimes base your level of confidence off of that and at that point in our lives several months ago when we wrote team we just got to a certain point where we like it doesn't matter we have an incredible group of people incredible managers um, friends, there's a really tight group, knit, a tight knit group of people who support us and encourage us to be healthy and to be just like the best artists we can be and experiment with our art and that's the kind of group you want to surround and yourself with and that's the kind of people that we were thinking about when we were writing team also. Team. Yeah. <laughs> So much. We've been in the studio pretty much every single day that we're not doing a show. And so we're sitting on a bunch of new finished songs and we have our next, like, I, I want to say five songs that we know we're going to release. We just have to figure out when in the schedule and it's all coming and we're planning our next tour. We did a, a tour called Sweatbox Tour last year. So we're planning the Sweatbox next level, like the level up of Sweatbox to do later this year. We can't really say when, but it's gonna be happening. Uh, well, the next song, fingers crossed, it'll be the next song, um, it's called Be There, and we've actually been teasing it on Snapchat a lot and on Instagram stories. But that one, the hook actually is reminiscent of Alive in a way that it's just like a huge emotional release and with a really energetic musical section. So I think that's something that'll kind of like re-engage all like the really hardcore fans. Um, but it also shows an evolution in the sense that we incorporated more Eastern Bollywood sounds. And for a lot of you guys who don't know, we are half Pakistani. And that's something that Yasmin and I have really been playing around with in the past like years, how to get back in touch with our roots. Cause we lost sight of that. I'd say when we first started touring like five years ago and just like kind of forgot where we came from. And I think that's like the path of you know, becoming an artist is like thinking back to like the shit you were raised on when you're like five, ten years old. And so I think that's like who we really are as musicians is like, you know, electronic dance meets urban meets um, Bollywood sounds. And we're kind of just fusing all of that together.